So far this weekend, we've seen uh, Eddie Abonisa have a win in a race, that race earlier on in the day. Andrew Madiki won race one. So here's the grid with Abonisa's Falcon on pole from Adam Bressington, Jimmy Richards and John Bow in the next row from Brett Yulden and Jason Gomisal in the SLR 5000 Tirana, who, whose preparations for this weekend I thought were pretty cool. He went to the Bowden's car collection in Queensland and spent some time with Peter Brock's 78 Bathurst winning A9X. That's, that's the way to get in the mood for Absolutely. Bathurst. That's a right swing of things. <laughs> Glenn Seaton listed there from 15th, but massive damage to that. Falcon, Greg Crick's charger was cooking itself on the grid yesterday in uh, the race that we had, which really was a non-race. It was a half-points race because it finished uh, under safety car after only a handful of laps. So seven laps for this one. Final race of the weekend. It's the penultimate round for TCM. They'll be with us later in the year at Phillip Island in November to round out their season. The sixth time that they've raced here at Bathurst. They've been here every year bar one since 2007 and will be on board right throughout the field. All the V8s are at the front. There's plenty of Porsches in there, though, to keep them honest across the top of the hill. And this is one of those places where I just don't think the Porsche can quite have the legs to be in the race. No, it needs uh, it needs a lot of help in terms of legs. They're further back on the grid. Look for Amanda Sparks and Greg Keane and Bill Pye. But it's Eddie Abonisa on the front row. The XP GT Coupe, Adam Bressington in the HQ Monaro. The two superstars, Jimmy Richards and John Bowen. Oh, Pole man's gone up. nowhere, stalled it, got it going, thankfully. But down at turn one, it'll be Adam Bressington who takes the lead in that HQ Monaro. John Bow, the reigning champion, slots in a second. I always panic when a car on the front row of the grid stalls. Absolutely, and I'm not sure, I mean, it, it either failed and he couldn't quite get to go or it fired really quickly, but when you're at the front and there's so many cars to go by, was a pretty lucky move. But JB, he's uh, in the catbird seat now. Probably can't believe he's lucky to tell you the truth. Off the second row. Great start and uh, already running around in second place. Jumping on board just quickly there. Look at this fight. Keith Kasuki in the XPGT. Brad Tilly going the long way in that lurid green big V8 GT Falcon. And Abel Nice has got it going again, but I think he's about seventh. Which is pretty good when you think about it from, from where he could have been. He could have been parked with a car straight in his boot. Across the top for the first time, Adam Bressington leading the way. The 71 HQ Monaro. And he's actually pulling away a little bit from John Bow here, which is a bit of a surprise. It'll be interesting to see how JB goes across the top. He's done this many, many times. One on the outside there, never a good spot. Ah, the Porsche bringing out the tail of the field. Bressington, though, up the top of the hill. This is this is the Jim Morton-owned car that we've seen run in TCM. Ooh, oh, a little bit of a lock-up. And, and this looks steep, but it is so steep, you can barely walk up that little hill there. So so you lose a little bit in the uh, in the translation with the television, but this is a quite a climb and quite a descent. And these things are making serious power. They're making serious speed on Conrad Strait. Don't be fooled. They're old cars, but inside them are some pretty go-fast bits. And they sound fantastic. Ooh. Eddie's just rushing in this a little bit. He's, his heart rate will be up. He'll be fired up and, uh, and trying to get past people and making tiny mistakes like that brake locker we just saw. John Bauer starting to apply the pressure. He's trying to fight back in this championship battle. Look at Bressington. He'll take him to the wall. I thought JB was a good defensive driver, but Bressington's not bad either. He's JB around the outside. Great move. <laughs> Fantastic. Not bad. He's dropped the wheel off on the exit, though, so he's lost a little bit of speed. And it's on side by side up the hill. Mustang v Monaro. But JB's got the critical inside line. Yeah, he, he's going to be fine here. And look at Jim Richards. Certainly coming into this fight now. Brett Yulden's with them as well in that green Mother's Monaro. You can't not spot that car. That's the right colour to never not be noticed. Absolutely. So what JB needs to do here is put his head down, try and get a little bit of a gap. You see him have a glance in the rear vision mirror every time he comes off a corner just to measure the gap off. He really needs to get a decent gap here so he's got a bit of a buffer going back onto Conrad. Of course, JB, the two-time 
oh, sorry, best part of the circuit where they're going through now, Reed Park. That is such an important part of the circuit here. You really need to be committed. That is a great viewing vantage point at McPhillamy Park as they tip in across the crest. And now they drop off the top and Bow's not getting away. Mustang Sally is back up in front and he's act he actually missed the last round at Sandown. He lost the series lead. He's been excluded for the weekend, so he's got to fight back because Jimmy Richards has taken the points lead in the Falcon that runs in third spot. But now he's starting to build that margin. And I think he's just skipped away far enough. Let's look at this start. And we heard that car refire. Thankfully. Go, stop. Hang on a minute, refire. Go again, and Brett Yulden gets by. Jason Gomesall down the outside in the IC Tirana and Kasuki charging straight through the middle. Well, Kasuki was looking to go down the inside. And this is what happens when you're in a Porsche. You make great starts because the things are so fast off the line, but when the big cars are moving around, you've got to go to the grass. And you don't get a lot of traction out there. And then to climb up the mountain, you tend to wave goodbye to the big V8. So John Bauer is moving clear. Pressington now going defensive on Jim Richards, the seven-time Bacchus 1000 champ, the Hall of Famer. And you might be wondering why the Monaro's hurting a little bit for brakes and how JB managed to get around the outside of him. A couple of things. One, when you brake really tight like he was on the inside, you have to pull the car up a little bit earlier. And the second one is that's their third big stop in a row. So across the top of the hill, it's a dab of the brake here and there. But when you get to the end of the Conrad, it's a big break for the chase. Get to the last corner, another big break. Turn one, another big break. So it's starting to get a little bit tired once they get to that point, and that's when you can make a real good move. There's an Ebenezer, ninth spot, the pole man in the XB GT Coupe. Tony Karapolovsky just behind the Mustang, and Mark King there he is in the Bob Middleton own Camaro. Of course, the other car was the Andrew Benicki car that didn't start this race. And they're not mucking around. John Bauer, fastest lap of the race, 224.37. You watch the, the cars go up and down on the suspension through here. And that's a great thing about Bathurst. The highs and lows of the event, you go right through the arc of the shock absorber movement, probably five or six times across the top of the mountain. When you're driving one of these cars, the feeling inside when you're turning the thing in, trying to get it to the apex. It's just a fantastic place to drive. And I remember talking to Jason Richards, who drove one of these Monaros a couple of years back, was telling me, you know, how pumped he was just getting a feel for the thing. They sound great. They've got plenty of horsepower. Not a lot of traction because they don't have huge tyres on them. Great things to drive. And uh, pretty rewarding when you get it right. It's great that you actually mentioned that point. I dug that race out to watch on DVD the other day because it was so great to see JR in what turned out to be his last start here at Bathurst. He still holds the lap record, 22-6. None of them have got near it. <laughs> he was a very funny man. He used to uh, he used to carry a lap time around in his computer of him doing Bathurst in the main car and uh, flash it to anyone that would listen. <laughs> on board with the Porsche on the rundown, Conrad Strait will take a break. John Bow, though, leads the way. He's giving them a bit of a masterclass at Mount Panorama. The Golden Oldies Touring Car Masters are continuing to rip and roar around Mount Panorama. It's the final race of the weekend for this category. Out front, John Bow leads the way. Three seconds back to Jim Richards. This is Jason Gomesall in the SLR 5000 Tirana that sits further back in the pack. Position number eight with Tony karen Filofsky behind and the pole man, Eddie Abonisa, trying to recover. Now, we've had the view of vote going at the top five qualifiers. Who are you picking for pole in the shootout? Well, it's a bit of a tight run thing between Jamie Winkup and Mark Winterbottom. Brad Jones, um, Jason Bright, 10%. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm tipping in, but it really, as long as he's in the first four, I don't mind. Oh, well, you can still vote. Go to the V8 Supercar website or buy so, the 7 Sport app. As soon as I finish here, yeah, man, well, you'll be online. I know you will be. We've got a bit of a drama here, though, down at the final corner. Hard to pick who that is. Yeah. Pick, oh, it's the Tirana. It's Jason Gomesall, who we were just talking about. He's ended up off the road. He's on. Oh, he's way too deep way there. Up. 
run out of brakes a little bit. He's headed over towards the apex. He looked like he turned that car in early. Sure sign that you've, uh, you've got a bit of trouble. And if they can't get that thing refired and out of the way, uh, I think they might throw a caution. Doesn't look like there's much panic there. Steve Priest in the middle of shot there. Keeping an eye on and up at race control, but we're keeping an eye here on the leader of the race, John Bauer, with a very handy margin, some four seconds back now to Jimmy Richards. Of course, two times a winner here in the 1,000. 23 starts, and we talked this weekend about Volvo coming back next year. He first came here in a Volvo. He did, and he beat me. Oh, that's done. Yep, I was second. JB has just done the fastest first split in the Mustang, in case we think he's cruising around. He's nope. still pedaling as hard as he can. And the reason he can go faster and faster is, at this point of the race, he's starting to burn the fuel off in the car. Bathurst is not so tyre sensitive, but one thing it does like is a lighter vehicle. So as you burn off litres and litres and litres of fuel, the thing will get faster and faster and faster, and he's just done the fastest second sector as well. On board with Keith Kasuki. This is the XBGT that Glenn Seaton drove here a couple of years ago to win the round. It is one of the fastest cars in a straight line. And did you see the angle of the rear wing on that thing? They've got it tilted absolutely flat down. You know, on the standard road car, they used to have the thing parallel with a boot. I wasn't around when those XBGTs were. Yeah, yeah. but you, yeah, I could have been. Yeah. <laughs> I was here in 77. I'm not afraid to admit it. That's the great thing about touring car masters. Although the cars are, have had some mods in terms of performance and safety, they do remind us of where we've been. And that's so important to know where we're going. I know there's plenty of fans that just love this category. They're cars with attitude. And a lot of the drivers really drive them hard. And they have the wings like that bent down because they're trying to get the rear of the car pushed into the ground to get either better traction or better drive off the corner. So they want the car clamped onto the ground so it gets the horsepower into the circuit from the rear wheels. Here's the order. Bow back to Jim Richards. Brett Yulden in third spot, having a really nice run. Kasuki next from Brad Tilly, who won the round here last year. And if JB picks up this race win, we'll have three different winners for the weekend. And that repeats what we had here last year, which is a great stat, great level of competition. We had three winners the year before when Bauer, Richards and Seaton shared the win. So the variety in TCM when they come to the mountain is a really great factor. As we jump back on board with this, the XB GT Coupe, which was built a couple of years ago when Seaton initially drove the car. But now Keith has stepped into it. He was running a HQ. It wasn't playing quick that year when oh, he jumped in this car. Very quick. It was the fastest car down the straight by a mile. This isn't this an amazing view. When you're driving this car, you set the car back up for the middle of the circuit, run it back over to the right side, thread the needle all the way down through the S's. It's a blip of the throttle, back a gear every now and again, gentle modulation on the brakes, hard back on the throttle now. Brad Tilly is not too far away in that big green lurid GT. Adam Bressington are behind and Cam Tilly then in the Mustang. They've come a little bit spaced out though for this last couple of laps. JB built the margin to seven seconds over Jim Richards. He's on target to have enough points to claim the round and the top three, Bow Richards and Yulden, if they finish where they are, that's the top three for the round overall in Class A for the over 5.1 litre cars. There's a fight within the fight for the cars under five litres. And you can see, have a look at this. That's Greg Crick in the Charger. He's got a little bit of smoke coming out of the car. Now, that's not coming out of the engine, obviously. He's still got good performance going on. It's billowing out of both sides. I saw it earlier. And I think that what's happening is the diff has got a leaking seal on the left-hand side. So you can see the smoke starts to plummet into the wheel well from that and then run out of the car. He's had smoking dramas with that car all weekend in qualifying. They had an oil leak in the valve covers yesterday in the race that we covered. It was smoking before the race had even started. It only lasted about halfway up Conrad Strait. But I know there's plenty of Charger fans who are loving seeing Cricky in this car taking it up to the cars that have been dominating in TCM, which generally has been Mustangs and Falcons and Camaros. And, and this is a bit of a disappointing performance. I don't know what's going on with Eddie's car. He's, uh, he was clearly quick on pole, but just hasn't, once he had that stall start, been able to match, uh, match the pace that he was able to produce earlier. 
just for a second there, it sounded like JB was taking it pretty steady up to the top, but he's got a big margin here. Back to Jim Richards. Listen to it. Charles taking a second away to the first sector, but it sounds like JB is just doing what he needs to do. This car's prepared and run by the Maranello Motorsport team in Melbourne. It's been a title winning car for the last couple of years and he's going to have to get his skates on for the final round at Phillip Island if he's to top Jimmy Richards. Two Hall of Famers going for the silverware in a month's time. The winner here in 89 with Dick Johnson in the Shell Sierras and then in 1994 in that epic fight with Craig Lowndes. And a quick I was look. actually chewing for Craig Lowndes at you. You were, you were. You were the man who put 015 into that great position. And you saw JB have a little look in the mirror there just to see where Richo was. At the end of the chase for the final time. And JB will bring this one home. Fantastic looking car. Yeah, it is a great piece of work. This 69 Mustang Trans Am, they call it Mustang Sally, and it's delivered for him again today at the mountain so one of the legends of mount panorama will pick up the final race for touring car masters this weekend to round out round seven it's his 10th win of the season and bow keeps on winning at bathurst jimmy richards home in second spot the seven time 1000 champ brett yulden great drive well Fantastic done job by brett. the monaro was with them all the way keith kasuki next from brad tilly but love turning back the clock good luck this afternoon for team boc for the top 10 shootout adam bressington cam tilly greg crick tony karen and eddie abonisa round out the 10 we are